Hey guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Black Clover episode 166. Oh man, guys, we are getting very close to the end now. And actually, in a few weeks, guys, keep an eye out when we're probably about a couple episodes away. I'm going to be doing a poll to replace this show. So it's been so long. I This was originally one in a poll, right? <laughs> 170 episodes later, we'll finally do another poll. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, so check that out whenever it happens. Uh, last episode, we had the shadow spy guy show up. That's how I wrote it down in my notes. Uh, it seems like he had a black clover, or black, not black clover, black bulls logo. So it seems like he might be another secret member that we don't know about. Not the first time that's happened. But, uh, but we found out that... Vanica's disciples are seemingly unkillable until Vanica is defeated, which is very much unfortunate. So we are very much riding on either Vanica running and telling them to run too, or actually killing her so that way everyone else who's fighting doesn't just die to these disciples and just keep regenerating. So we had a very cool mind palace from uh, uh, B -b 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 Laura Pechka, who was able to figure out some more info about what their plans are, which is very cool. This 90% of people will die theory and, and everything when the these when whatever they do happens. So I'm wondering if that's just because the demons that get summoned will kill a bunch of people. So roughly 90%, only 10% are strong enough to survive kind of thing. Or does the act of opening the doorway kill 90% of the people? I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, we had mermaid form, cool fight, and uh, so far their plan has been going way too well, so last episode I predicted it is about to fail. So let's get into the episode and see if it does. Alrighty guys, we're going to start here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat a little bit better, guys. Hold on a second. <coughs> Excuse me. He is the Dark Triad. Let's go, baby. Mermaid form. I like how she says it in English. Yep, they wanted her to give it her all so that way they could seal her. Don't tell her before you do it. All right. No, don't. Don't. We did it. No. It never works. Never that easy in anime, guys. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, shit. Is that the devil talking? It's a different voice now. It's a Megacula. Jeez. Uh, that wasn't Laura Pechka exploding into blood, was it? That was, like, that was the blood that, that Vanica had left behind, right? Huh. <laughs> 
Man, I love this song. Sorry guys, I didn't say anything during that opening really. I was just really enjoying the music. <clears throat> I only have a few more episodes. I need to add this song to my playlist. Hey yeah! What? Why is this episode called Captain Yami Sukihiro? That scares me, but also I'm excited. Oh shit, is the blood just killing everything? Oh, she got out of his tongue? I thought she was trapped in it before. <clears throat> Ugh. Oh, nice. Good job. Well, shit. Well, damn. That sucks. <clears throat> <laughs> That's cool, going to the two sides. Oh no! Well, this is even... Aww. Even worse than I could imagine. Even the beaver is still there. <sighs> I hope Undine's okay, or gonna be okay eventually. Obviously, she's not. She's not great right now. But I hope this isn't flashbacks to be like, hey, look how awesome she was, and now she's gone. Oh! Oh, the voice acting's too good. Come on. Someone's gonna come in, right? I know the episode's titled Yanny. 
I don't know if he makes it here. Oh, she's up. Oh. And then the tongue is going to stop her. Yep. Of course. <clears throat> Oh shit! Oh shit! Fast! I don't know if that'll be enough, but... Yep. Yep. Hahaha. <laughs> Point blank. Just neutralized it. Yeah. Damn, that was the last one she had. Oh, doesn't do anything to you, huh? <laughs> Got her attention. Oh, that animation on her face, or the drawing there, looks great. Alright. Oh, we're back here now? Are they still fighting? All right. Got another hidden. Ugh. Oh, well, shit. Ooh, what are you gonna show us? <laughs> of an ordinary human. Hmm. Uh-oh. Shit. Yeah. Eighty percent. Jeez. <laughs> Mostly black lined face men. Ah, okay. Interesting. Jesus. 
Oh my god! <clears throat> oh shit! That was a hell of a jump! Oh, I went around him? Yeah. I don't know if that's going to work. Shit. Jeez. <laughs> Come on, Yemi. Oh, no. That was close. He's going to bust his way out of that and hit him or something. Yes, my boy, Yemi. Oh, <laughs> those eyes. Oh, I'm going to surpass my limits, baby. Let's go. Look at him. <clears throat> oh, shit. Yes, condense it. Condense the condension even more. Oh, black and white. Damn. Death thrust. I genuinely don't know if that's enough to kill this guy, but he just removed this man's torso. Holy shit. Shit! <clears throat> he did. <clears throat> God damn it. Sorry I keep clearing my throat, guys. I apologize. I don't know what's wrong with it tonight. <clears throat> Yo. That's what I'm worried about, man. Oh, you can even heal from that. That's ridiculous, man. How do we kill him? Transform. Yep, he's. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, Jesus. Well, he can keep doing that death rest, damn. Go for the head, maybe? Zombie rules? Shit. Come on, Yammy, figure something out. Oh.
Jeez. Almost just took his dick off. Oh, whoa! That was sick! I'm spitting everywhere tonight. Oh, uh, Asta. <clears throat> Shit. Dude, this is crazy. Is there anything you can do, Asta? Or are you just too worn out, man? I don't know. Oh. He just keeps taking hits. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on, Asta, stand up. Oh, the two of them together. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Damn. He's got a little wing, a little bit of power left. Oh, the two jacked boys. Oh my god, I'm so excited for next episode. Because it's about to end, isn't it? Yep, right here. Oh, fuck! I want the next episode, man. It's been a while since... I've I've been loving this arc, obviously, but it's been while it's been a while since we got like a real good animated fight, right? And we had the start to it here. We had some really some really good animated moments this episode, but I have a feeling next episode is gonna be awesome. I hope anyway. Oh man. That one move, that was like one of the best things. Like don't get me wrong, maybe not. Maybe not one of the best things. I may be jumping the gun. But that that shot when we're watching Gammy like come at us and he like whips his sword around or whatever. I need to go back and look at that again because that looks so damn cool. Oh man, after this outro, I have something in my eye. Beautiful. <laughs> and I love the idea of Yami and Asta fighting together. Like it it gives me those vibes of like the the first My Hero Academia movie where All Might and Midoriya uh fight together and that shit's so cool. All right, guys, that is it for episode 166. Yeah, hold on, guys. We are going back. Can I find it? That's the question. Um, where was that scene? Oh, it's going to be so hard to find because it was so quick. It, it was before the 
thrust, wasn't it? Or no, it was when he got close enough. After he did the death thrust, right? He did that to get close enough to do one of these other thrusts. I, yeah, I can't get close enough to him. I think it's right here. Yeah, oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, guys, 18 minutes in case you're trying to find it. 18 minutes in like 10 seconds. I'm watching it again. <clears throat> okay, so he has like all these rocks flying at him, right? And then it just cuts to him like chopping through them. But he, oh, it goes around his back and loops around in front of him and he grabs it again. That's so fucking cool. Yeah, that was, that was so great. Oh, man. I love that shit. Good animation in anime is like, so, I gotta admit, like, I love me a good fight. But I usually like the emotional aspects behind the fight. Like, the idea of Yami and Asta working together seeing all these flashbacks to, you know, Yami bringing him up and to the level he's at now, but still saying you're a million years from being on my level kind of thing. Like, all that stuff coming back, that's the kind of shit I love in a fight, right? Is bringing in that those kind of connections and emotional bits. Uh, unless we have, like, insanely good animation. Then I don't care about emotional bits. I love the animation. But, like, some, some anime we just get, like, mediocre animation and the fight doesn't really mean much. And it's like, sure, you're trying to appease the people that just like to watch fights. But if you're not going to make it look insanely good, then typically I'd rather go with, like, lore and story stuff rather than fights any day. Unless it's insanely well animated, which I love this shit. So good. Um, but let's jump back to more towards the beginning of the episode because we had Noel fighting for her life their their plan failed which i kind of figured it was going to and uh and they you know she bursted out whatever whatever power was left and uh and overpowered all of their spells undine is in a very bad position we saw some of the past between laura pechka and undine which was very uh very sad you know like this is this is someone who Laurel Pechka grew up with, and to see her in the state she's in. Now, I don't know if she's dead dead. Um, we'll wait to see, because the show, you know, a lot of anime doesn't like to just straight up, like, kill people and stuff like that. But that is, like, kind of the starts to what you do if you were to kill, like, someone in the show. Um, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I still don't really believe it. So, uh, but, uh, anyway, that being said... We had Noelle fighting to try to help everyone there, and uh, she fought to the every bitch that she had, and she she dealt a wound that seemed to give Vanica slash Megacula like a a moment of pause and be like, "Oh, what's your name?" Like before, she didn't give a crap about her, you know, and and now she's curious because whatever that attack was managed to draw some of her blood, so. I'm really wondering what's going to help there over on that side. Like, uh, now I, I will point out, we do still have, uh, Mimosa very much like, like, obviously she's been fighting and expending mana, but physically she hasn't been hurt too much. So I wonder if it's possible with her being a healer, is this a clutch healer moment? Does Mimosa have some kind of spell that can, like, rapidly heal them instantly so that way they can keep fighting or something like that. And that way this fight can continue. Other than that, the only other thing I can think of is if someone else comes in to help on that side of the fight, right? Like, so I'm I'm curious. I mean, we also, Gaja is not here, right? So maybe, Ga like, he's busy dealing with another guy, but if he leaves and comes here... That'll be another fighter who, you know, desperately wants to help Laura Pechka and everything. Like, he is, like, her guardian, essentially. So, uh, maybe he'll come. But other than that, I don't know who could come and, and help them. So, it's either up to them to handle this, or 
or not, you know? And like I said, like, due to meta reasons, I don't think they're all going to die, right? So it's just a matter of, like, who helps them if they don't help themselves. But, uh, but yeah, all that was, was interesting. Props to Noelle for, for fighting as hard as she did, as beat up as she was. You go, girl, you know? But, uh, going over to the Yami fight, it was, it was awesome. Like, he, he developed a new technique through this, this death thrust where he originally just wanted it to be like a, a stab, right? A jab. But instead, it ended up being a cannon, he said. <laughs> Which is funny. He's like, I couldn't help it. You, you look like a target, you know? But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. But he blew that guy's torso clean gone. All that was left was his head, arms, and legs. That was crazy. But, you know, with that crazy regeneration he has... The only thing I can think about is if you go for the head, if you destroy the brain, can he regenerate that? But, I mean, he said he can't die, so if he's not lying about that, then he should be able to regenerate the brain, too. I don't know what they do to, to kill this guy. Uh, unless he has, like, a finite amount of mana for his regeneration, and they can just keep beating his ass until he runs out of it. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll, we might see something crazy here in the uh, the next episode, so... Uh, maybe after seeing this encounter and now the idea that Yami and Asta are teaming up, I wonder if it is possible that we start defeating some of the Dark Triad here, right? Like, does the other fight find a way to take care of Megacula and does, uh, does Asta and Yami here win? Like, we're coming up to the 170 mark. The thing is, is... Uh, I don't want to know. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to find out, obviously, but I have no idea, because the show didn't end, right? It's not over. It's that it went, the anime went on hiatus. I actually think the manga went on hiatus first, so then the anime went on hiatus. I think the manga is going again, but I don't think the anime is going again yet, so, um... So, like, I wonder where it went on hiatus. I don't know the reason for the hiatus. I don't know if they ended, like, do they... I think it'd be crazy if they managed to end this arc in the next three more episodes after this, right? 67, 8, 9, 70. Four episodes after this one. Um, but, I mean, if they managed to, that would be... That'd be pretty nuts. We're about to see some crazy shit if they managed to beat the Dark Triad and everything here. Um, I will say, like, if they're, they're definitely scary people, but I almost feel like the buildup was way more, like, if, if it does wrap up this quickly, like, oh, they come and attack the Clover Kingdom and the, the Clover and Heart Kingdom, and then they, they just defend themselves and win, right? Like, I feel like the buildup of this, like, oh, we need to train all these months and do all this, like, even if we get a crazy fight in the next few episodes, like, I I don't know if the buildup will be, like, I think the buildup will have been too much, is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to, like, figure out how to word this, um, for what the encounter ended up being. Like, don't get me wrong, they're they're fighting for their lives here, this is scary shit, but... I, I feel like we need, like, a bigger incident like we had with the Eye of the Midnight Sun already seems like a, a much bigger incident in everything than, than this. This is just three dudes coming with devil powers kind of thing. But either way, I'm going to wait rather than speculating to see because who knows, maybe we hit 170 and it just ends in the middle of this arc. Or, or maybe what happens is the Dark Triad, like, retreats and it's, like, a decent stopping point, but it's not over. It could be something like that, too. Or, you know, or they they don't, it's not that they retreat, it's that they actually do capture Yami and then they leave because they accomplish their mission kind of thing. That could happen too. Uh, and then we, and then our characters have to get them back kind of thing. So, but we'll see. Either way, there's one more thing that happened this episode. Uh, they mentioned the, uh, they can't release their full power unless they open this underworld door. Uh, so they're, they're limited in how much devil power they can use. But he glanced over at Asta and said, I'm not sure about this one though. So that almost makes it seem like it's possible for Asta to release like all of the devil power 
not just be gated by the gate, right, uh, to the underworld. So that's uh, that's definitely a curious thing. And, you know, once again, we have that whole thing of Dante underestimating Asta's devil, saying that it's a weak one, but I think it's possible that Asta could have a very strong devil in there, maybe even stronger than their devils, and they don't even realize it. You know, or it's the idea that Asta will utilize it in a way that makes it strong kind of thing. We'll see which way they go with it. But yeah, I'm just, guys, I'm just extremely hyped for the next episode. So I think I'm done talking for this one. And I'm just going to wait and and just get hyped for that next one. Man, a lot of my shows have been on fire. Like, better, I, I watched an episode of Better Call Saul this week. And I am so excited to watch another episode of that. I'm so excited to watch another episode of this. Oh man, so many of these shows are firing on all cylinders right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you want to see two episodes ahead. Or if you want to see that Better Call Saul reaction, that's on there too for the, the Patreon tier, the Patreon show tier. So check that out if you're interested. Uh, link is in the description below or should be popping up on the screen. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.